it's Wish, aka DJ Wish One on YouTube, and you're watching Bitter Poet Madman. Drink up. Get down, you Gregory. Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another one of Bitter Poet Madman's craft beer reviews. And today, we're gonna try to end the hell ride that was the Abyss 2009. And we're gonna get a little into that, and then we're gonna taste the 2010. We're gonna talk about that. Now, when I made the Abyss 2009 video, I sent the video along with the letter to the brewery and a few weeks later in the mail I received a card along with the 2010 Abyss that says, Hello Chris, thank you for taking the time to contact us about your tasting of the Abyss 2009. I'm sorry you had a bad experience with this brew so we would like to fund you or your friend for the purchase. They gave me a check for $12 since that is what they charge. And then it says, we have also included an Abyss 2010 as well for your review. Cheers. Best wishes in 2011, Gina Shawland. So thank you, Gina. I appreciate you guys taking the time to, you know, try to do some damage control over that 2009. And uh, I'm excited to get into the 2010. I also have another one that I'm aging until probably around November. So a little too early to tell if I'm going to do a video on that or not. Let's get into the 2010 and uh, see what a non-infected abyss tastes like. Side of this says, it's dark, it's deep, it's mysterious. This imperial stout has immeasurable depth, inviting you to explore and discover its rich, complex profile. The flavor of this special brew draws you in further and further with each sip. The abyss beckons, enjoy the journey. I already got the wax off, so we're not gonna fuck around with that. It's been sitting out, it's probably the, just about the good temperature I'd say for it. And uh, that's it. I'm going to pour it here. Totally, totally dark. Using the old tulip glass, same glass I used the last one. Yeah, look at that. Much better. Much better of a head. It didn't, you know, completely fizz up like the last one did. Um, the head also doesn't quite look as bright as the 2009, the infected one that I had. Let's give it a smell. Uh, I get a big time, big roasted malt smell. Big chocolate smell. Maybe even a little hint of coffee. And this is about as dark as it can be. I'm holding it up to a huge 500 watt bulb and there's no light getting through almost none get out of there cat so yeah it doesn't smell sour it smells like this is going to be a good beer now this is like the third rated best beer in the world so it's number three at all of them on a lot of different lists so i'm curious to see how this is going to taste let's give it a shot It's mellow, it's rich, um, it's very creamy, nice chocolate aftertaste to it, very good. Definitely a full bodied beer, I can't remember what the ABV on this was from the last time I reviewed it. There it is, 11%. It's an 11% ABV, and of course this is from Deschutes Brewing. You really get hit with um, those roasted malts and that chocolate flavor. It, it's very complex. It is mellow, some nice lacing on the glass there. So far, I'm really enjoying it. So thanks again, Gina, for giving the nod my way for the 2010. And uh, we have a few more sips of this and come back with some final thoughts and a grade. All right, we're back. I've been sipping on this a bit. I gotta say, this is a great example of what an Imperial Stout should be. It's smooth, it's not over acidic. 
high ABV, um, mellow flavor, but still very complex and rich flavors of all the different uh, the the malts and the chocolate and everything else. This is definitely an A beer right here. It's a it's a little acidic. But Imperial Stouts are going to be that way, and you know, once this ages, you know, come November, maybe even if I wait a year on the other bottle I have, um, I'm sure that acid level will drop and it'll become even more mellow and probably even better, maybe even into an A+. So, the Abyss 2010, you get an A. Sorry to shoots Brewing for putting you on the Hellride, but I'm a tough customer, what can I say? So, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Thanks again, Gina. Follow, Follow me, on, me Twitter on Twitter at Bitta Poet Madman.